Hi there. 2023 was about meeting an unknown force called AI. This year, we will get to know every side to it. The good, the bad and the ugly. Before the pandemic, most people had no idea of what was being developed. Our devices suddenly have eyes and ears. Though it is not as good as you hope, but AI has the potential to change the way we work. Let's look at a few aspects. Companies like OpenAI, Google and Inflection AI are currently training models that will be far more powerful than ChatGPT 4.0. Will it be like meeting HAL 9000 from Space Odyssey? Hello HAL, do you read me? The truth is, we have been using AI for years. What's changed? AI is now sexy in the eyes of investors. In the last few years, we have been told that we can become rich by investing in crypto and then NFTs and now AI. Making AI possible are super fast computer chips, an easy source of data, the internet if you're wondering, and deep learning computers. For years, tech companies have mostly depended on spec sheets to market smartphones, laptops and whatnot. A few companies with mediocre products now have a chance to jack up their marketing game as well as stock. It's not enough for a company to be profitable because investors demand top of the line disruptive technology. Enter AI. If you ask investors, they will probably say that AI has been on their radar since at least 2018-19. What we are seeing is the excitement of using generative AI models. We are simply in the early stage of the AI hype cycle because a lot of funding is pouring in. If you are a founder of a startup with some clever implementation of AI, investments will come your way. The term that we keep hearing is GPT. It is a large language model trained on troves of data gathered from all over the internet to form a neural network with endless parameters. These models can offer the best sequence of words in response to a query. No wonder the New York Times has filed a case against OpenAI and Microsoft for using their data to train their model. OpenAI CEO Sam Altman and Google CEO Sundar Pichai are talking about the need for regulation. They are trying to play the devil's advocate. If we look at how generative AI produces content, you need guardrails. Large language models can make up facts and investors wouldn't have any of that. The EU took a critical step by coming up with the world's first comprehensive laws to regulate AI in December. At the same time, Many governments are less than transparent about how they are deploying, if at all, AI in decision-making process. There will be more clarity around this in 2024. The march of AI will affect everybody, from teachers to investors to lawyers to singers to doctors. Take the case of educators who are in a bind. After three years of the pandemic, schools and colleges managed to bring students back, only to be faced with another mountain called AI. How should teachers respond? One solution involves banning AI from school networks and computers. All this translates into more class hours and zero homework. To discourage students from using AI, this kind of policing may become normal in schools. AI can already separate distracted kids from those focusing on what the teacher has to say. It can create profiles of students. Say, if a student takes interest in science, the machine can spot that. Also, if teachers demand everything to be written out in class, it may mean that students will have more free time at home. But there is a snack. More and more tech companies are inserting AI into tools that students use, like Google Doc and Grammarly. How do you stop students from using these? So the other option is to allow AI. Teachers may look at ways AI can supplement other teaching tools. One may argue that calculators are allowed because it frees up time spent on tedious calculations. So why not AI tools? It's another matter that calculators don't have bias or throw misinformation at you. What I'm trying to get at is 
ChatGPT will be acceptable as long as its usage is on the lines of a current usage of resources like Wikipedia. Not that Wikipedia is a trustworthy source, but as chatbots get powerful, teachers will have a tough time coming up with policies. Nobody knows how to prevent students, writers, musicians, scriptwriters, or office workers from making the disclosure of having used AI in projects. Since ChatGPT arrived, new AI detectors keep showing up every other week. All these detectors claim to spot writings that have taken the help of AI models. According to OpenAI, AI detectors don't work. It says that ChatGPT has no knowledge of what content could be AI generated. The truth is, detectors work at times but not always. Users keep refining a search topic to the point that the outcome becomes somewhat untraceable. The best solution at the moment is certifying human writing. This year, there will be three very important elections in India, the US and in Taiwan. Given the relationship between the US and China, all eyes are on this election. The number of fake AI generated videos and pictures circulating on the internet and social media space is already high and we don't want things to go from back to worse. By the time an AI video or picture is called out, perhaps it will be too late. Beat OpenAI, Google or Inflection AI, these are going to deliver solutions for different companies. Say a healthcare company taking a solution and turning it to its needs, like drug design. At the same time, you need chips required to power these AI models, and these are under government scrutiny. Again, the US government wouldn't like China to receive the fastest of chips. This may encourage countries to invest more in chip development. In fact, the country which has seen the potential of AI very early is China. In 2017, half of all the AI capital in the world came here. Take the case of Face++, it has nothing to do with Facebook. Its visual recognition system is considered among the best. So, 2024 won't be the easiest of years if you are already having nightmares about AI. But there is hope in the form of upcoming policies. What I am going to do is grab a cup of coffee and continue working, finding new ways to improve my skills. Will that work? I will soon find out. Thanks for watching and keep visiting t2online.in for more such content.